Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use WP Vivid Backup Plugin. So let's get started. So at first we are going to install this plugin and then we are going to see how we can use it. So to install it, at first we need to log into our WordPress website dashboard and then we need to hover over plugins and then click on add new. And here we are going to search for WP Vivid. And this is the plugin that we are going to install and activate. Now click activate. So as you can see that plugin is now installed and activated and at first we are going to see how we can take the backup of our WordPress website. So we are going to scroll down a little bit and here we will see two options save backups to local and send backups to remote storage. But we want to save our backup on the remote storage, not on our web hosting. So we are going to choose the second one. And then from the top click on remote storage. And now we are going to set up our remote storage. You can go with Google Drive, Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive. But for this tutorial, I am going to select Dropbox. But the method will be same for all these remote storages. And now from here, I am going to click on authenticate with Dropbox. And after that, I am going to select allow. Now log into your WordPress website again. And as you can see that authentication is done. And now we are going to give it a name. And then click on add now. And here under the storages, you will see that our remote storage is successfully added. Now if you want to schedule your backups, then from the top just click on schedule and then just click on enable backup schedule and from here you can select 12 hours daily or weekly but we are going to select weekly after that we are going to scroll down and from here we are going to select send backups to remote storage and then click on save changes and now we are going to take the complete backup of this website so from the top we are going to click on backup and restore and then we are going to select send backups to remote storage and after that we are going to click on backup now and as you can see that our backup file is now uploading to our remote storage and as you can see that backup is now finished now if we scroll down to the bottom and here we will see the backup that we have just created and now I am going to show you how to restore this backup so if I visit my website so this is our current website but now we are going to delete some themes and plugins so now if I go back to my WordPress website dashboard and now we are going to delete some themes and plugins to see whether the backup is working properly or not. So we will go to themes first. So we are going to delete our main theme. So I will activate the other one first. So we are going to delete this main theme extra. And now if again I visit my website, it will look like this. And now we are going to restore it from the backup. So now we will go back to WB Vivid and after that we are going to scroll down to the backup that we have just created and then we will click on restore and after that we are going to click on this button and now it is downloading the backup to our local storage so that we can restore it from there. So as you can see that our backup is now downloaded so we are going to refresh this page and then again from the backup and restore we will scroll down to the bottom and again we will click on restore and here we will see a restore button so we are going to click on it and from the top we are going to click on ok and our restoring will started and now on the top you will see a message restore completed successfully just click on ok and now if I visit my website and refresh it from here and as you can see that our website is restored back to its original position 